Two-year-old Manaya is helping her older brother Kalani walk for the first time thanks to these robotic legs. Manaya always wants to play with her brother, says her mother Leon. I don't think she realizes it just yet, but I think it made her feel good to see him moving on his own, she said. Kalani was born with a rare genetic mutation that causes neurodevelopmental disorders such as epilepsy and delays in speech and language. He's five, but can't speak, grab any objects, or put any weight on his feet. Today was his first time using the new Trexel robotic skeleton. Most of these children are not able to take any steps on their own. A trained person using a tablet operates the device. The machine senses how much help the child needs to walk and which muscles they are using and not using. It just it lets them take hundreds, if not thousands of steps at a time within 20 minutes to an hour that otherwise would take forever if it was a therapist. The skeleton flashes different colors to help the operator monitor the child's progress. Purple means the muscles are activated. Orange detects resistance, which can help measure how much the child can bend or straighten their limbs. Blue means the child is working with the device to take the steps. It helps with the health of their hips. A lot of these children's ha children have issues where their hips start to dislocate because the sockets never develop because they're never standing, they're never getting that force from gravity. The robot costs about $35,000 to $40,000 for a private family to buy. Clinics that use them for multiple patients pay between $100,000 to $110,000. The Trexel team says it's lobbying the government to have the devices covered under public or private insurance. We're really hoping in the long run that we're, we're going to be able to purchase a Trexo. Um, I think that would be something that a lot of our families would benefit from. If the Kids Physio Group gets the tool, it would be the first of its kind in Montreal. There's only one machine in the province now. It's at a clinic in Quebec City. Leon says watching her son try it out was emotional. It's all you hope for your child, for them to be able to have their independence, she said. John Ngala, CBC News, Montreal.